This is a weird one. The new guy's Dave the Jackass has history, and it was taken by Watch It Ice solely because Dave Gilbert was a fan of the original freeware game. This is the only Watch It Ice published game not on Steam, and I had to find it on Watch It Ice's own site of all things. And even stranger, I had to use a widget from the Humble Store, yet the game itself isn't listed on the Humble Store. This all sounds like red flags rising up one by one, yet I was genuinely surprised by how much fun this one was. I was even more surprised to discover that I actually found the aggressively hideous heart style charming fairly quickly. To understand just what this beast is, we first have to talk about Chris Burden, the creator of the series. You look at it still this game and think it was made by someone who's never held a pencil before, but no, that style was used on purpose to allow for impressive and fluid animation. Chris Burden is a professional animator, mainly working with 3D art, and all the 2D sprites in the game were made from his original 3D models and animations, and I suspect he made a of use of rotoscoping the game's ending chase scene. Out of every Watch It Eye release, this is easily the best animated of all of them, even including a fairly impressive CG sequence in the ending in terms of movement and flow. Also, based on how much his studio site Icebox Studios plugs it, he may have helped to make the adventure creator framework for Unity. It's a ridiculously impressive resume when you add in all this film work. The New Guys is about a titular wrestling trio made up of the straight man Defender, the tough guy Simon, and the egotistical wuss named Brain. At the start of the game, Brain manages to defeat everyone in a title match with a dirty trick involving a table, and then gets chased around by every other wrestler at his home so they can have his championship belt. In a twist, someone kidnaps Brain, and Defender uh, decides to go find his friend, while everyone else doesn't care because he's too far insufferable for anyone to want to deal with him. Needless to say, this is a comedy game, and a pretty good one at that. Wrestling fans will definitely get the most out of this one because the majority of the gags are based around the absurd culture of professional wrestling. There's jokes about gaudy crap merchandise, silly gimmicks, obsessive fans, and the ugly art style actually complements all of this perfectly. The rest of the humor just comes off uh, generally absurd, and there's definitely laughs to be had from it, like the reaction a bar owner has to you offering him a book, or the different reactions you get from different items when you view them with different characters. It's definitely funnier than Puzzle Bots, but still has that uh, Lucas Art style of humor, and I think that was the right call. This game is always on the verge of being too much, similar to the Red Comrade series from Russia, which is now getting translated and released on Steam, currently up to Game 3 of 9, and I will get to that series later eventually. But it wisely holds back and doesn't go that direction. It makes sense this is the only other game Chris Morrison composed for. The Puzzle Bots composer improves with a better sense of theme and place here, creating some memorable tunes that match well with the wrestling theme. The voice cast is filled with Watch It Eye actors, but Burden himself handles a lot of the voice work, doing all three of the new guys himself. It's impressive as he manages to give each their own tone, style, and even vocabulary. His brain lines well delivered in a deadpan sort of way for some great jokes. Abe Goldfarb acts well out of his usual range here and does some of the most memorable characters in the process. Playing a little kid like an ineffective Hannibal Lecter is way too amusing. Otherwise, this is all burden show from the art to the story and it's fairly well handled. This is the last of Wajidai's growing period. From here, every game they publish is a full-size adventure. The New Guys is a weird milestone for the company in this respect but I wouldn't mind seeing more off-the-cuff stuff like this in the future. There's a charm to it I've never seen in any other Wajidai title, and I think it deserves another look and more eyes on it. Don't be scared away by the art style. The new guy's Dave the Jackass is legitimately impressive and pretty damn funny to boot.